chapter number 8, by the end of the chapter. Amen. And the reading may seem a little lengthy, but I believe it's well needed. So I'm going to ask that you please stand for the reading of God's word. It may seem a little lengthy, but I want you to know to get what he has for us. He's worthy of it. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. Second Kings chapter number 8. Hallelujah. When I see that everyone's standing, I believe that you have gotten there. We're going to be starting our reading at verse number 1. The word of the Lord God says, Then Elijah spoke to the woman whose son had, had restored, had been restored to life, saying, Arise and go and to your house and hold to your household and stay wherever you can. For the Lord has called a famine. Uh, for, and furthermore, it will come upon the land for seven years. Somebody say seven years. Seven, seven years. years. So the woman arose according to the saying of the man of God, and she went with her household and dwelt in the land of the Philistine for seven years. It came to pass at the end of seven years that the woman returned to the land of the Philistine, and she went to make an appeal to the king for her house and for her land. Mm. Then the king talked with her, at Gaza, the servant of the man of God, tell him, and, and he said, tell me please all the great things Elijah has done. Verse number five. Now it happened as he was telling the king how he had restored the dead to life, mm. that there was a woman whose son had been restored to life, mm. appealing to the king for her house and her land. And Gaza said, my lord the king this is the woman and she and her son whom elijah restored to life mm. verse number six our final verse and when the king asked the woman she told him so king, so the king appointed mm. a certain officer of her saying restore all mm. that was hers mm. and all the proceeds Jesus. of the field from the day that she left Jesus. until Everything that the 
take from us. He's got to put it back. He's got to put it back in the name of Jesus. See, and, and let me tell you, I, I, I'm excited about the word of God. When God gave the word, he said it's a restoration plan. He said the people of God need to know they need to be encouraged because God's about to restore them. And I said, wait a minute, God. I said, they probably heard this word. He said they might have heard it. And they may not hear it, that they're going to hear it today. Yes, Because
spiritual warfare. You know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. And I see the enemy operates illegally. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have a legal right. But if you allow him to keep taking your stuff, that means whenever you turn around, wait a minute. I'm under God's restoration program. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. The Bible says it that whatever is his is mine. Mm -hmm. He owns a cattle on a thousand years. Mm -hmm. If he owns it, that means I. The Bible tells me I'm short and with him. So that means if my daddy got it, that means I got it too. Mm -hmm. You must understand that mm -hmm. I'm operating underneath God's restoration mm -hmm. program. Back. You put it back. Mm -hmm. You don't know, walk around. You know people like you know people pick up your stuff and they act like it's theirs. Mm -hmm. uh, go put it up. <laughs> That's not for you. Them finances you was robbing up my account. Mm -hmm. Go put it back. Every check that bounce, that thing go be ripped up. With your money, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. They like to temper in the area, and God knows that you need finances. He understands. Yeah, yeah. We live in this world, even though we're not from this world. We operate in this world, but we're not from this world. I'm saying that because even the Lord, you know, He understood what kingdom He was in. He didn't, He didn't compromise His anointing, but He recognized where He was. Mm. You're like, let me give you a little sidebar. Whenever they, they need to pay taxes, they ask us, y'all don't pay the taxes. Yeah. You know, they told people, go in that dish, go get that gold coin and pay, mm -hmm. get a season, mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. That means he's like, I understood how the world works, but I'm, I'm the king of kings and the Lord. Yeah. And he was saying that, he said, I'm a, you know, you're like, well, where was the miracle? You think, uh, do you think fish have money in their mouth? Come on here, come on, come on, Pastor. The Lord God said, whenever you owe something like that, that doesn't belong to the world, don't worry about it, I'm going to make sure I provide for you. Yeah. <laughs> It says that we would like to increase your credit. 
Yep. I said, all right, Lord, you say double yep. for my talking. You see what I'm saying? Yep. I was a yep. ridiculed and, and accused of one thing, but when the enemy put it by, he turned around and looked and said, let's give you, why don't we give you an increase? That's man? exactly right. That's exactly right. Yes, Lord. I didn't ask for Somebody you. need to get that. See, he didn't ask for because it's being restored. But like I said, why don't you just get an increase with it, too? Get all the interest that's over. Oh, yes. Because this is God's restoration plan. Tell your neighbor, God's restoring all. Yeah. God's restoring all. Tell your neighbor, another side, God's restoring all. God's restoring all. Prophesy all. to your atmosphere. God's, God's restoring, restoring all. 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 That's it. That's it. Those are the logic. You can type on the line. God's, God's restoring, restoring all. all. In the name of yeah. all caps, praise him. Oh, yep. Because God's restoring all. All caps. You see, what this Shunammite woman went through, God restored all. Yeah. Like he restored for the uh, Joel. He restored all. And the reason why he led me to this particular text, because he said, I, I, I restore life. You see, the Shulamite woman had a testimony. You see, her son, she didn't have a son. And the prophet Elijah went and prayed for her. And, uh, and you know, that, that's the Shulamite woman that's in 2 Kings. I believe chapter number four. Let me tell you a little bit about her, if it's all right. The prophet Elijah was going by that town all the time. And surely enough, her and her husband said, let me make a room for you and for your armor bearer. Like, wait, well, hold up. I didn't hear the word armor. If you read the text, mm. Gaza, I believe it's his name, was the prophet Elijah's armor bearer. Mm. You're like, well, who is the armor bearer? That's the person who travels with the man, the woman of God. That's, That's right. the person that yeah. assists with things. If yeah. they go and play, they go and play. If they got a room, you got to have enough yeah. room for your yeah. armor bearer because you can't leave the anointed prophet. Uh, come on, I got to teach a little bit. Is that all right? I teach a little bit? I see somebody may not. See, well, I don't know what an armor bearer Look it up. It is proper. It is it's biblical. And it's something that's required for some anointings for when you're going about. And Gaza was the armor bearer for Elijah. And he, they built a home, not just for the man of God to sleep, but for the armor bearer. And when they got there, Elijah said, is there something I can do for you? And the Shunammite and her husband, she said, there's nothing. I don't want nothing. You know I know you just want to bless the man, the woman of God. I don't want nothing. And the prophet said, is you sure there's nothing that you don't need? And uh, Geza, the armor bearer said, she has no child. Mm. Yeah. And so all of a sudden, the prophet Elijah said, I'm going to pray that you'll be with child. She's like, don't play with me. <laughs> How many of you know, sometimes you get a word like, Lord, no, look. Don't no, look, look, dad, wait. Look, I didn't want this long. We're going to say a child, but I ain't going to say nothing else. You know what I'm talking about. Hey, look, look. Wait, wait a minute, daddy. Uh, and so she didn't say but she had a desire. And surely enough, the word that was prophesied, that's in 2 Kings chapter number 4, she actually did become pregnant, her and her husband, and she bore a child. She had a son. And as she had that son, the son was doing well, they was having a great time. There was, the son was actually working with the dad. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, that's, that's a beautiful time. And it's, and it's old age because the scripture says that her, her husband was old. If you have time, read 2 Kings chapter number 4. You'll read that the scripture says her son, that her husband was old. It doesn't matter. It just means that, you know what, he was beyond the age and the Lord God still blessed him. Don't come. Don't. God works in impossible yeah, 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 situations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. Somebody may need to hear that. You may not have wanted to hear that somebody's old, but I want you to know God works in impossible. They may have told you things are like a, you're too late, you're too old. You come can't, on, come on. Because when God sets it up, when yep. a prophet begins to prophesy and to create the cut, to time and age don't matter. Yes, God's work will manifest. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And so, as the prophet uh, prayed for her, she bore a son. And as she bore that son, surely enough, he was with the reapers. They were in the field. Him and his daddy was working. And all of a sudden, the child started feeling sick. Lord have mercy. When the child started feeling sick, the first thing he said, my head hurt. Me. My head is hurting. And the first thing, like a daddy, to go bring him to his mama. <laughs> And then the, the scripture said, if you read, the scripture said, the daddy said, bring him to his mama. Right. There's something about a mama. When you're feeling bad, don't let the daddy go. Bring that child to her mama. Bring her. 
So the scripture says that the daddy said, bring him to his mom. They brought the child yes. to the mother, and the child dies on her lap. Yes. Uh, now you know. The first thought, you're like, my God. Lord have mercy. You know, because I, you just the thought of it. And she began to, she, she didn't cry about it. So I'm pretty sure, the only thing she said, she's like, I'm going to the prophet. Yes. yes. <laughs> you know what? That's what you call some Holy Ghost faith. Sometimes, whenever you, I know we talk about God's restoration plan, but this is part of it. Sometimes you may get a word that you are, or something may happen that you just think is impossible and you don't yes. want to receive it, but don't change your faith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just stay right there and say, you know, I know this is happening, but I serve a God who works miracles. Hey. So she turned around and said, I'm going to the prophet. So how many of you know I'm going? If I was a, I'm going to see the prophet, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going. What she was trying to say, I'm going to connect with God's yeah. vessel. Yes, and we're going to pray about this here. Yeah. Because you were, I already told you I don't want to play game. And then you go, what you going to give me on, then is, come on, no, come on. Mm -mm. not receiving yes, that. Yeah. Mm. Plain language, don't receive your bad situation. Yes. Mm. Amen. Don't receive it. Amen. You're like, it doesn't mean you're not real. I didn't say it wasn't real. Right. I, if anybody would know a Shunammite woman laying with her son that's dead on her lap, that's a real thing right there. Yeah. But you know what she said? She said, I'm not going to receive that. Yeah. I'm going to see the man of God. When she got to the, when she started getting there, the armor bearer saw and said, oh, there that woman coming. You know, and surely enough, he was trying to find out, and the, the prophet said, when well, she's coming, ask her what it is. You know what she said? It is well. That's right. It is well. Now she could have said, my child is dead, and I'm feeling good, and I'm upset. I need to talk to the prophet. Now, no, she said, it is well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Her, her husband even told her before she goes, why are you going? It's not time to go. She said, no, 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 I'm, I'm going. Mm -hmm. It's well. And he asked. She said, it's well. This well, you see the positivity, yes. you see that people of right. God and God's restoration plan, you gotta remain positive in this day. You can't start letting your turbulent situation get you out of your faith in God, yes. the God that you serve. You gotta be, it, it, it's well. Mm -hmm. yes. it'll be all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it'll be all right. Can you can you see that woman? I don't know, but I can see her. I can see her all broken inside of you. Her heart aching much like it's well. I mean, if you ever held back some tears and you're like, it's well. So you want to break down. You want to fall out. But you kept saying, it's well. Mm -hmm. It's well. And it's well. When she got there, she mentioned to the prophet, to the man of God, what had happened. And the first thing the prophet said is that the Lord kept it from me. I didn't even see it. No sidebar right there. Prophets can miss things too. You put too much weight on them. Mm -hmm. yes. Come on now. Come on, I'm trying to teach a little bit. Come on. Come on. Because prop, they're, they're human too. Because the, he, if he discerned what she needed, he prayed for the baby manifested, everything was, and he asked, is it well? And she kept saying, she told the armor bearer everything was all right. When he got, when she got into his presence, he, he said, Father, you kept this from me. Meaning that I didn't see it. Yeah. Sometimes the God don't allow us to see. You know why I didn't allow him to see it? So we can have this testimony today to say that we all view the here. Come on. Come you can come miss on. it too. I don't care how come anointed. On. Come on. Come on. Preach that. Come on. Come on. Come on. You're so anointed. And even though you wear a turn back collar, sometimes. Come on. Here. Sometimes mm. God don't allow you to see everything. The that you're like, oh, are you talking? I'm not trying to talk down a pastor or a preacher or a man or woman of God. What I am trying to say is that, you know what, that we all miss it sometimes. Yes. The Bible says we prophesy in part and we know yes, in Lord. part. Yes. We can't know everything, otherwise we'd be gone. Come on here, Pastor. Yes. And that's on. something we God not going to share. It's going, oh, oh, oh. So, you know, take that weight off of them. And it's, because the scripture on, said, we prophesy, it's in the book of, it's in the uh, New Testament. We prophesy in part. And yes. we know it. So that's why whenever a prophet is going on, you're like, oh, give me more. They can't give you no more than what they get. Yes. If they just see it this way, and I see you that way. That's it. That's it. We know in part. You know what? You know what fills in the blank? Your faith or what God told you. Yes. That's it. Yes. I'm going right to preach on this side. That's of the good right now. What the fill in the blanks is whatever God told you and your faith. Mm -hmm. So you may get this word and you get this word. And you're like, wait a minute. Right. You know what God said? You fill in the blank. That's yes. it. She don't know your shit. He don't know your situation, but I do. Yes. What did I tell you the other day? What did I tell you last week? How many years? What did I, uh, fill in the blank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. That's who 
one prophecy begins to be manifest. Mm. Lord have mercy. Mm. I'm all up in the sun. I tell you that with God's restoration. Plan. I'm saying that to let you know that the woman of God, she brought her child to the prophet. And what did God do? God allowed that prophet to restore life back into that son. The scripture says that he went and he prayed. They brought the child. He went up to the room. Way up. And he stretched out on his body. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he prayed over mm -hmm, him. Mm -hmm, and that's mm -hmm. God's restoration plan. Sometimes you got to stretch out. Mm -hmm. Ooh, sometimes you got to lay before the Lord God. You're waiting for it to happen. Lord God. No, sometimes you got to do what you don't know to do to get what you need. Yeah. Woo! Come on now. Sometimes God's restoration plans require for you to do so just a little bit more. See, mm. the prophet, he was a man of God and he, just, he went and he stretched out on top of the body. Mm. And then he prayed over him. And then nothing happened. He went back down. Mm, mm, mm. Isn't that just like the Holy Ghost? Yeah. Yeah. That was, even though I, that, that, that passage right there is so meaty, because it lets you know that sometimes you do have to pray again. Yeah. So a lot of people just say, I pray one time, God ain't moving. Wait a minute. Hey. Sometimes pray again. Mm -hmm. Pray mm -hmm. again. Just because you, you start, the Lord God said, I'm going to restore it back to you, but you need to believe me again. The, uh, you need to trust me again. Come on. You know, so the prophet had to go pray again. The scripture says he went down, he went back up, and then he prayed over him again. Then all of a sudden he sneezed. How many times? Seven. Wow. Didn't I tell you that seven yes. or something else? Yes. Didn't that tell you? Seven times. Yes. Lord Edward, those who are in deliverance ministry, you know, sneezing at seven times. Your spirit's coming out. Yes. That's a nugget right there. Mm. Somebody needs to get that. You know, you know that? Write it down. Mm. Because it, mm, 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 yes. seven times. That means yeah, seven mm. times that death spirit had to come out. Yes. And it came out. It come, seven times that baby mm. sneezed. Seven times God restored life back in that body. Mm, yeah. And I'm saying that because you're like, how does that relate to this passage? It relates to uh, 2 Kings chapter number 8 because the Bible tells us that the Shunammite woman, when she got the court, when she was there, the, the, the king said, tell me what Elijah has done. You know what he said? I want to know the testimony. If, if I want to hear about what things has the man of God done. <laughs> But the, the, the meat of the text is where now it happened. I'm looking at verse number five. How many of you there? It says, now it happened as he was telling the king how, how he had restored the dead to life. The woman comes in. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, whatever he's talking about is actually walking. My Lord. <laughs> and surely enough, the woman whose son, that's the meat right there, was restored and walking in with her. Now let me give you the meat of that. You're wondering, well, why is that so important? Because she brought her witness with her to court. Yes. Yes. Sometimes when you have to show up, mm. sometimes, you know what God said, you got to bring your testimonies with you. Yes. Yes. You got to bring what God did for you. Last year, sometimes you got to bring that and carry that with you off the to Come on, come on. Yeah. 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 Okay. Amen. Yeah, Come on. Man. So she brought him, and see, just think about it. So that means that baby was walking, 